Good day, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Introduction to Public Key Infrastructure Part 2. Today we're going to begin with a discussion on Certificate Authority Responsibilities, and then we will conclude on some additional Public Key Infrastructure concepts. I have a fair amount of ground to go over, not a whole lot of time, so let's go ahead and begin this session. Of course, I'm going to begin by discussing certificate authority responsibilities. The CA has two main responsibilities. First, it is responsible to issue the digital certificates that are used when implementing a public key infrastructure solution. This requires that the CA review information supplied by the client making the request for the digital certificate. The requester begins the process by providing the CA with a CSR, or Certificate Signing Request. The other main responsibility of the CA is the revocation of digital certificates that the CA has issued in the case of fraud on the requester's part or when a security breach has occurred that involves the digital certificates that it has issued. The Certificate Authority creates, maintains, and publishes a list of revoked digital certificates to help ensure that the PKI process remains trusted. One method that is used to achieve this is through a certificate revocation list, also known as a CRL, which is periodically published to the Certificate Authority's website. Another method of achieving this is through the use of Online Certificate Status Protocol, or OCSP. OCSP is a protocol that uses HTTP to verify the status of a certificate directly with the certificate authority that issued that certificate. With that, let's move on to some additional public key infrastructure concepts. The first item is the recovery agent. A recovery agent is an individual with authorized access to the private key archive. Recovery agents are used within PKI to protect against the loss of a private key due to the key holder's absence. Private keys should be securely archived with access to the archive strictly limited. Due to the sensitivity of private keys, in most cases, the recovery process requires more than a single recovery agent in order to recover that private key. Then there is registration. It's a process that is typically used within an organization that has implemented its own PKI. The process is used to issue PKI certificates to employees or devices within the organization. The Registration Authority, or RA, has the responsibility for verifying an individual or device's need for a digital certificate passing the request on to the CA if required. Trust models are used in PKI in order to build PKI relationships between different organizations. With PKI, trust can be created between two different certificate authorities so that each CA will implicitly trust the certificates issued by the other. This allows organizations to quickly validate digital certificates that each receives from the other entity. Trust models, also known as trust paths, are used to reduce the workload on PKI. Without the trust models, each implementation of PKI in the relationship would be required to issue digital certificates for the opposite party. Trust paths are also used to validate digital certificates issued by a subordinate CA back to the Root Certificate Authority. That concludes this session on the Introduction to Public Key Infrastructure, Part 2. We began with a discussion on Certificate Authority Responsibilities, and we concluded with some additional Public Key Infrastructure concepts. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I wish you the best of luck.